But before we check out the Sony State of Play, what I want to address real quick is the first part of this title. Y'all have seen me streaming Hi-Fi Rush. Y'all saw me enjoying it. Y'all actually saw me getting my life to a Bethesda game. I never thought that would happen. And I was like, you know what? Let me just make this big review of like stepping out of your comfort zone. I kid you not, the day before today, I had actually recorded all the lines of the Hi-Fi Rush review that I've written out. Here comes like 1 a.m. And then all of a sudden I see on Twitter, Shinji Mikami that leaves Tango Game Works. And I was like, what? Excuse me? There is no such thing as a coincidence. Therefore, me actually like a, Beth a Bethesda game? Somehow mess with the natural order of things. And in between me being happy and smiling and writing that review and Shinji Mikami being in his office like Choto a damn mate I can't take this shit anymore God said these two simply cannot exist in the same plane Somebody gotta go I'm so thankful that God did not hit me with that wrath He said Shinji put in your two weeks notice <laughs> So yeah Shinji Mikami has left Tango game work From what I've seen like Bethesda has came out and pretty much confirmed the news And I thought that there would be like a statement from Mikami himself like kind of like going into why he left I mean to be honest like he doesn't have to give a reason why he left That's between him and whatever God did not like me enjoying a Bethesda game And I even have an article right here We can confirm that Shinji Mikami has decided to leave Tango Gameworks in the coming months. We thank him for his work as creative leader and supportive mentor to young developers on Evil Within franchise, Ghostwire Tokyo, and of course, Hi-Fi Rush. We wish mikami son well in the future and are excited about what lies ahead for the talented developers at Tango. Xbox uh, boss Philly D. Spencer has now also commented, thanking Mikami for his contributions to the industry and time working together while Tango Gameworks was a uh, part of Microsoft Studios. Thank you mikami son for your leadership and your great contributions to the industry. Spencer wrote on Twitter, your guidance and input over the last few years have been valuable to me. Looking forward to our continued friendship. Looking forward to what lies ahead for Tango Gameworks. It sounds like everything just ended like amicably. There was no bad beef for any bad blood. From what I gather from that statement, Mikami probably left because it's gonna sound kind of messed up to say, but like I don't really mean it, but he looked really old. And then I checked his age and come to find out he's 57 years old. And I mean like, that doesn't really matter because I'm like, look at Nintendo. Nintendo is being ran by a retirement home. It seems like more than anything that this article is suggesting is that maybe like Mikami was just like, listen here, I put in my dues, I'm ready to retire, I'm ready to just, you know, chill, go build a Gundam, have the younger talent that came after me, have them get their chance to shine like I did and um, just sail off into the sunset. And I, I can definitely respect that because I knew of Shinji Mikami because this dude has been putting in work before he even made his own studio, before he even got with Bethesda. This man put in work over at Capcom. Let me show y'all like just how legendary this dude really is. Well, one, he always worked on the Resident Evil series, but he also definitely had a hand in writing and directing Resident Evil 4. And why does that sound like a game that's being remade? Because it's like, their most popular Resident Evil. But let me just show y'all the man, the myth, the legend himself. This is his works. Uh, we're not gonna get into who framed Roger Rabbit and Goof, Goof Troop. We're gonna start in 1996, but Resident Evil director, Resident Evil 2, Dino Crisis, Resident Evil 3, Old Veronica, another Dino Crisis, the Oni Musha, Devil May Cry. I didn't even know this until a few months ago. He worked on the Phoenix Wright series, and th that's my bae. And then he came and worked on Beautiful Joe. God Hand, Vanquish. Of course, he got his own studio, but like, that man has put in his dues. I believe he's been working in game development for like 33 years now. And if he's 57, he started working when he was 24. That is a catalog to build up at the age of 24. That man should be in the video game hall of fame so you know, give it up for shinji we will miss you mr mikami you really did the damn thing you truly did